everyone, it's Carly Morgan. Today we're going to be focusing on 1 and not 5, um, 7. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over balancing chemical equations. This looks really complicated. I promise you it's not. I'm going to teach you some methods that hopefully will help you um, solve these easier. So first I'm going to talk about just the general stuff about balancing equations. The left side is the reactant side. The right side is the product side. The things that go in front of these letters um, are the coefficients. So we start with the H's and we see we have two H's here and we have two H's here and we have two O's and we have one O. So well, I'm going to put this on the, this side so we can just make sure we keep that organized. So I look on my left side and I see that I have two H's and I look on my right side to my compound and I see I have two H's. I look on my left side and I see I have two O's and I look on my right side and I see I only have one O. So that makes things kind of hard. It's never zero, it's one. Never zero. So what are we going to do? We have to multiply this by two so these can balance out. So now we have two and two, but it's a compound. So if we put a two there, we have to multiply 2 by everything, which means that the perfect H2, whatever, gets all messed up, and we have to multiply by 2, and now it's a 4. So that makes things tricky. What are we going to do now? So we have a 2 here, we have a 1 here, and we can make this a 4, right, if we multiply it by 2. And there we go. It's perfect. So there you go. You just solved the balanced equation. And now try to solve 7. Pause this video. It's two-step, but it's all the same methods apply. It's pretty simple for a two-step. Um, I'm going to start with the Zn's, the H, and the Cl. Sorry, that's so low. Um, so one Zn on this side. 1 Zn on the right side, 1 H on the left side, and 2 H is on the right side. We have 1 Cl on the left side, and 2 Cl on the right side. So there's two compounds in this, so be careful when you're solving it. Oops, sorry. Um, just be more careful, and just don't rush this. Um, take the extra time to actually do this step. It helps, I promise. Um, it keeps things organized. So we have 1 Zn, 1 Zn, that's perfect. So we have to multiply this by 2, right? To get 2, so where is that? That's the compound, so we have to multiply the Cl by 2, and hey, that works out perfectly because that was a 2 over there. So 1, 2, 1, 1. I don't know if your teacher is going to make you, but good to put the ones in front of it just to keep everything organized once again. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you for watching. This is Carly Morgan for Full of Student Tutors.